so I wanted to attempt to do close to like a full face of makeup as I possibly could with the materials I have. So I have this little baggie that just has like what I use all the time. And then I have this bigger bag that's just filled with a collection of stuff I've gotten over the years. It's makeup first, it's primer, but I don't think I own primer. Yeah, so I don't own primer. Next up after primer, I'm gonna do this color correction stick. Is this still a thing people do? I don't know. I've got this stick, stick so long ago, but basically since I have these really dark eyebrow, eye bags, I take this e.l.f. and I just... And I even go up quite a bit into my eye because it's quite purple in there. I kind of just look like I always have been like socked in the face. After this, I believe would be probably to like smooth this out, but I don't really, I have this new brush that I haven't ever used for anything. It's for liquid foundation, but I suppose I can use it to blend this in a little. Is this cute? <laughs> Yay. Okay, next step would be foundation, except I have this, I have this to work with or I have this. One's e.l.f., one's Revlon, so as you can see, I'm very pricey, and they're both super old. And if they had a expiration dates, this expired in 2022. Well, if this expired in 2022, I probably shouldn't wear that one. But this one is way, way too dark, and I know that. So we're gonna skip the CC cream. So we're skipping foundation. For concealers, I have either this e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer, this CoverGirl Concealer. Oh, my um concealer that I feel I use most frequently, which is this Revlon Photo Ready Concealer. This is it, this is all I have for concealer. So I usually use this one, so I know this one works. Do these have expiration dates? Let's see what the cover girl looks like. And then this one, this one's pale. This one might be a little too pale just because I have are these both too pale? Why is this so difficult? No, you know what? Let's use this one because I have not used this in a long time and why the fuck not? We're gonna use the CoverGirl. This might be a little pale. Also, that feels like it's a lot even though I wiped it off. So let's take this and put her. Oh my gosh, it just does not run out. Now I have a brush I like to use. Not that one. This little one. So it's little baby. So I'll, I'll just blend this out. Do I let it sit? I don't think so. I mean, I suppose I probably could. I'm gonna use my mirror just so I can see. Do I look like someone you'd want at your wedding? The answer is probably no. We'll tell you guys about my dream last night. Actually, it wasn't a dream. I was just laying in bed thinking about it. I've been having fantasies about buying a panini press. I know, I don't know where it came from. I don't even like sandwiches that much, but last night I just laid in bed and I could not stop thinking about a panini press. I don't understand anything about makeup. So if you have any makeup recommendations for me, whether that be application or products or Bella, like just keep track of like when your makeup expires advice. Um, keep me informed, keep me updated. I'm actively seeking people's opinions on this. Just be nice. I, I would also like to admit, I can do a lot better subtle makeup. I'm trying to go for big, I'm trying to go for bold, I'm trying to go for I'm here. And I'm, well, I don't think I'm not gonna, I think I'll be noticed. It's maybe not for the reasons I wanna be. My arm's getting fucking tired. This is bad. Okay, solution, I think, give me a second. Okay, I got a beauty blender, it's a little damp. 
maybe this will work with help with the patchiness. Okay, it's definitely better. We're definitely better than what we were at. Okay, well, let's just call that good. Stop while we're doing decently and let's move on to the next step. Okay, so I'm gonna take the medium contour from this palette, from Profusion, whatever that is. <clears throat> Actually, is there an expiration date on this? Light con. oh, okay, so there's directions on the back. So I have to take a mix of light and dark and put it here. That's not good. That's a black fucking line. I don't know. Back in soccer, my coach, who I hated, used to say, when in doubt, kick it out. And I'm pretty sure the term in, it looks like I have a sideburn. Anyways, I'm pretty sure the term in makeup is when in doubt, blend it out. So I'm just gonna rub this for a while. It's down too far. I think that's its problem. If it was right here, I don't know if it would. Do I look snotched? Maybe I'll bring it. I mean, okay, blending it out, it's making it better, but I don't think it's good. And this one's not deep enough, so it doesn't. Oh! I was gonna say it doesn't match, but now it matches. Did I do it? I don't know. I have a big ass forehead, so I'm gonna take the medium, the light. Oh. I'm gonna take the medium and the light. Maybe try to. I used to be so much better at makeup in high school when I had to like do it all the time for theater. Now I haven't had to do anything like this since high school and it's not good. Anyways, I think that's as good as my contour is getting. So I will, should I do my bronzer next? No. I'm gonna do my blush. So I have a powder option and I have a, ugh, I have a liquid option. Ooh. And I have a stick option. I like the powder one, it's easy. True match, L'Oreal, dependable. Is it expired though? It says nothing about expiration date. Then I have Rare Beauty which I love, except this is not my color of choice anymore. This is Joy. If you know anything about Joy and Rare Beauty, this shade is a little bit more on the orangey side. And that's just not been my vibe this summer. My vibe this summer has been pink, as we know, just like bright ass pink. But I don't know if I want to mix my stick and this powder when I used a powder contour. So would it just be safe to use this? That's what I'm thinking. So we have the true match in shade. I recall it kiss. So here's, I think the different blush options. I can take it like this. Or I can take it like this. I will go up. Ah, and I'm bringing this into my hairline. Do you guys like how I'm talking about it? Like I know what the fuck I'm doing. when I obviously don't. Don't follow my lead here. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I did, she went off book. Do I even need bronzer? What does bronzer even do? My nose though, she's not snatched enough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this little guy and we're back in the contour when I should definitely be um, staying clear of contour and I'm just gonna is it working? Is this even fucking doing anything? Um, did that do anything? I don't think so. Well, that was a good attempt. Good attempt on the nose contour, Bella. Guys, do I go crazy? Do I do eyeliner? I have a tremor, so I have a really shaky hand, so I'm not good at eyeliner. I'll give this a go. I need to get nice and close in here. But I'm gonna use the NYX Professional Makeup Retractable Eyeliner in black. And I'm... Am I gonna do a wing? Should I do a wing? I can't really do a wing. Cause like, 
I can't explain it. They don't look good on me. That and I'm bad at them. Maybe I will. I'm just gonna do one that's like a little, I can't do it with this one. This one's not sharp enough. This is not sharp enough to do a wing. I think I have to use this. Oh, she's ready. This shit is so hard to get off. I'm gonna look at my mirror down here so don't mind me. Okay, like straight out I'm thinking. Okay, there, that's far enough. That's little. I'm scared. I gotta fill it in now. Maybe this eyeliner is not as good anymore. Maybe because it's really fucking old. So let me try the other eye now. Okay, I just went like straight out pretty much with it, right? Okay, this one's um worse. Mm, in every possible way, this one is worse. Oh, is that right? Can I even close this eye? Oh my God, that one looks bad. I can't even close this fucking eye. Okay. <gasps> oh, what did I do? I went up so high. Why is that? I'm gonna go back in and take this bad boy. Oh, that's not good. Uh. Uh. Who the fuck can do eyeliner every single day? I'm not even drawing anything. Anyways, I'm gonna call that good and I'm gonna get a Q-tip quickly. Okay, so I'm just gonna clean this up. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my god, let me get another Q-tip. That is bad. Okay, so to an attempt to fix this, I think my beauty blender and I'm just gonna go where I use my saliva. Since my eyebrows are getting in the way, let's just use that. For the sake of, since this is bad makeup and now I'm scared of using my good makeup on this, I'm gonna use this Clear Lash Maybelline. That's empty. Maybe it's Maybelline. Oh, holy fuck, would I love to learn how to do makeup. You know how to do makeup again, let me know. Let me know in the comments. Okay, so if this is showing me anything for wedding season is that I should stick with what I know. I don't have to straighten from the basics. I'm gonna cur um, heat my eyelash curler in between my legs. And while we wait on that, um, let me show you what I used to do. So I have this little broken brush that I kept in this contour palette. <laughs> Surprise about this contour palette, this one is a beautiful highlighter. Are you ready? <gasps> I used to use this all the time. You know what? This is a little much too for a wedding. It's a little too much makeup anyways. I'm not the center of focus. I have to blend in. So maybe the key to blending in is not really doing any makeup at all. This might be the boringest video I've ever made. Love to see that nose coverage really popping through with that set. I'm just gonna... Give me a second, I'll take that. See, that's how strong this highlighter is, see? That's so good. I'm just gonna use this fake little bitch. Sorry, that's so mean to a brush that didn't do anything. Do people even use highlighter anymore? I don't know what's happening in the world. The makeup industry, What? what's even going on there? Anything, anything fun? What's trending? What's new? What's the easiest, beautiful thing that I can accomplish? Maybe it's my plan. I'm going to use Rare Beauty Mascara just because it was the first one I saw for my eyelashes. I'm gonna do one at a time. For, there is a hair in my face somewhere. It's right here. Okay. Let's tie this together. Okay, do I do bottom mascara? Probably. You all know, I usually don't, especially with this Rare Beauty one because I feel like it's such a heavy mascara, but I'm gonna. Is this it? Is there anything else left in a makeup routine? Lips? 
Oh, I gotta do my lips. Lips. Lips should be easy because I don't have that many lip products. I have like a lot of like lip oils. Something I know you're supposed to do is lip liner. I have this. This is the only lip liner I own. So I have this lip liner that I got for free at Sephora and that's the only reason I own it. How do you even... Like that. That's the bottom lip. Not sure how I feel about this. Not really sure I did that, but I also just turn it into a lipstick. Should I just, I'm just gonna stop there. Okay, here's the makeup look. Ooh. Mm. Here's the makeup, as you can see, I should probably never touch anything having to do to makeup again. And for weddings, the moral of the story, less is 100% more. I don't need to be doing makeup like this ever. In fact, I should probably never do it again. But if you have any tips, suggestions, tricks, or just, you know, you also want to tell me I should never touch makeup again, let me know. And like this video and subscribe. Let me do some more poses for you quickly.